Hi, my name is Yoki. I'm from the company Lele from Germany and you're probably watching this video because you have a loud hum and buzzing. So you're probably wondering if you have a ground loop. So me, we maybe should ask um, what's a ground loop and how can I eliminate this ground loop? We need to talk about galvanic isolation. So what's galvanic isolation? Galvanic isolation is used where two or more electric circuits must communicate, but their grounds may be at different potentials. It is an effective method of breaking ground loops by preventing unwanted current from flowing between two units sharing a ground conductor. Galvanic isolation is also used for safety, preventing accidental electric shocks. All right, so also the last topic is very important, avoid electrical shocks. When talking about galvanic isolation, just as you remember, we can use an AB switch for switching between two amplifiers. So you have connected two amplifiers, for example, to uh, the output of a pedal and you have a ground loop. Now we need galvanic isolation. The little Lele 3 is doing this. It switches the outputs with galvanic isolation. So you would put in your guitar here and you send out a signal to the sand and you send out a signal to the output. Then you would switch between. You see, the switch is actually very, very quiet. So I show you why. The switch is actually just an attenuator. So all the force you're bringing with your body, with your foot, is absorbed by the chassis and the actual switch is here on the PCB. You can't destroy it and that's why this switch is so reliable and so quiet. So this one is switching the grounds. This is why we have galvanic isolation between the outputs. You can also use it in reverse using two instruments so you can switch between the instruments. You have also, uh, if, you, if you would use the send and the return, you have a true bypass effect loopers for all the non-true bypass effects. You can put out of the chain in the chain. So this is the little Lele 3, very quiet. But what if you want to use two amplifiers at the same time? You can't switch between the amplifiers. Now you would need a transformer. Oh, what's a transformer? A transformer is a passive component that transfers electrical energy from one electrical circuit to another circuit without a metallic, so galvanic, connection between the two circuits. You would connect your guitar directly to the input of the P-split or the end of the chain of your pedal board and you would go out to the direct output to one amplifier and with the isolated output to the other amplifier. Now these two amplifiers are isolated from each other. You also have a phase switch in case one amplifier is out of phase and there's also a ground switch so you can reconnect the grounds for safety reasons in case uh, one amplifier needs to be grounded at the other amplifier. It works passive and there's a huge transformer I'd like to show you. And this is how it looked like. Very simple, the huge Lele LTHZ transformer, high impedance transformer, one to one. And yeah, very reliable, there's no tone suck, whatever. You can go with your passive guitar signal directly into the P-Split. And yeah, it's very heavy and reliable. So now you have seen how to switch between amplifiers without any harm or noise. You have seen how to split a signal to two amplifiers without any noise. You're wondering how to do both. You would need an ABY pedal. This is the little dual too. It switches the outputs galvanically and you have the transformer in it. So you can use A or B or both outputs at the same time. Also, again, without any tone loss, you have the high impedance transformer. You can go in with your passive guitar signal or you put it at the end of the chain. Um, you also have the ground switch for security reasons or safety reasons and the phase switch in case any amp is out of phase. There are some other features the little Dual 2 has. You can put in a TRS signal, so kind of a stereo signal of your last effect, or you can put in the TRS signal from your guitar. In case you have two different pickup systems, like a magnetic or a piezo system, you can put directly via TRS into this input and the signal gets split and isolated to both outputs. The foot switches can also be programmed, so you have momentary or latching action. You can use a manual mode, so this is one output, this is one output, or you can toggle in between. So you see there's a lot of routing options and of course, noise-free. All right, that's it. Now you learned 
anything and everything about isolation, ground loops, if you have really a ground loop or not. And so um, if you have any questions, contact your sales engineers at Sweetwater or get directly with us in contact at lele.com. That's it. See you. Bye.